Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Missy and today I am sharing with you everything that I got from Thrive this month. So this is going to be my July Thrive box order. I do this once a month. Nothing is sponsored. I do auto ship a bunch of stuff. It's very similar to Amazon subscribe and save. I got a couple new things and then a couple regret buys. But anyway, I'm going to share it all with you. Can you just appreciate how adorable their summer box is? It's like even the tape is all like themed for the summer. I just thought that was so cute. <laughs> okay, so here is a wider shot of all the stuff I bought this month. This is definitely a large order for me. So let me just get right into it. Okay, so starting in the back here, this is bamboo toilet paper. There's nine rolls in here. I also like the toilet paper from Grove, but definitely we've been liking the bamboo less trees so i got that and then i got some more rosie is the thrive brand of dishwasher soap so i got that this i it snuck up on me i think i have this on the automatic it's dishwasher aid and i don't need it and i didn't see it in my box but i got it anyway that's okay now i have two so i didn't mean to buy that and then this is a lot of my snacks so starting with these snacks i have mostly for now with sourdough crackers. I got some pumpkin seeds, almonds I use for almond milk. I have some pitted prunes, Thrive brand. I also get this one, Looney prunes. I don't know, I just have a automatic thing for both those brands. I don't know why I do, but we go through a lot of prunes. Matt likes them, I like them, Paul likes them. So those are the prunes. I also have hemp parts here. I use this for smoothies and crackers and pancakes. It's a great, let's see, what does it say? 10 grams of protein. I actually usually get the Thrive brand, but this is a substitute because they're out. But this is a great source of protein. Then these snacks here, these are beef sticks, mostly for my son, Paul, my toddler. This is a great way for him to get protein. There's four grams of protein per stick and they're grass-fed, grass-finished beef by Chomps. I think they have a couple flavors. These are the original in a mini size. I got graham crackers, mostly for cheesecake bars, but Paul seems to be liking graham crackers recently, so those are for him. And then Matt likes these, the chocolate covered cashews. So I got more of those for him. I didn't realize that this is the only thing that came with an ice pack and I felt really bad. So I won't order these till the fall till it gets cooler now. Then getting some basically Paul snacks. So these are a great restock. Paul absolutely loves these. I've tried to find them in grocery stores by me and I can't. They have a vegan ranch and a cheddar flavor. I could care less that they're keto. What I like is it's five grams of protein per snack and the ingredients are pretty clean like i don't know if you can see that it's the chickpea puffs are chickpea flour lentil flour chickpea protein fiber sea salt and then basically the seasoning has a lot more stuff to it than the actual puff but i like this one it's a good snack alternative for my son i've tried them i personally do not like them but Paul loves them. So I got him more of those. He also really likes these. I tried to make them myself with cheese slices. He wouldn't touch them, but he eats this. And this one is 10 grams of protein. It's literally just shredded cheese baked so it's crispy. So I don't know why he doesn't like mine, but he does not. This is where I have regrets. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought all this stuff, but Paul only eats snacks. And my usual are the cheddar bunnies. I got three boxes of those. I tried to make cheddar crackers for him the other day. He won't touch it. So I got him these. I feel like they're cleaner than Pepperidge Farm goldfish. Maybe they are, maybe they're not. They are three grams of protein per serving. So I got him three boxes of those. And I usually always get these ones as well, the bunny grams. And these are two grams of protein per serving. But sadly, they also have seven grams of added sugar. So, you know, it's not... I try not to make sure he eats these all day long, but I got him those. And then I got him the chocolate ones, which I've never had gotten before. And they also had birthday cake, which I also got and have never gotten those before. I don't know why I did this, to be honest. This is what I was talking about. I want to make more snacks because these are so expensive, but. <sighs> and then I got him the snack mix, which is the cheddar crackers, pretzels, breadsticks, buttery crackers, and seasoning. I thought that would be something that he likes. He is a little carbivore. He does eat a very healthy smoothie twice a day and then basically just eats snacks. We offer him meals, but he just wants snacks. So those are pretty much all 
for Paul. Then over here, I, this was on sale, I believe. I think, I think, I get this pretty much for when family come over. I really like the Kodiak cake muffin mix. I think there's two. There's this lemon blueberry and there's a chocolate. They're really, really good. 15 grams of protein. I'm um, nursing and postpartum, so I'm always looking for things with protein. So I got that. We're gonna have, we always have family coming over, so I had that just to keep on hand. Back here, I got a restock from when COVID. I like the Thrive and Grove makes really good ones too. Where does it say? Here we go. They are uh, bamboo tissues. So I got two boxes just to kind of restock. I'm pretty much the only one that uses tissues in this house, but we went through a lot of them when we had COVID. This is my brand of choice for facial care products. So I needed more of the argan oil. I use it on my face and my hair and the overnight. I do not know how to say that, but that is, if you can see it, that is the, from what I have learned, the healthy version of retinol. I'm probably not saying that. I'm not even going to try to say it. No, I'm not going to say it. Restock. I had both of those already. I'm just restocking them. This right here is my favorite, Dr. Bronner's. I use Dr. Bronner's. This is the baby, all-in-one hemp baby unscented pure Castile bar soap. I use this for Paul and I use it for Tilly. It's not focusing. There we go. I use it for Paul, I use it for Tilly, and um, Matt is said he was willing to try some more bar soap, bar hair soap, bar conditioner for your hair. I use nothing but bar. I don't use any of the liquids, anything. So he told me he was interested in trying that eventually, but I get this. I use this for the kiddos. Then over here, Matt really likes these whole cranberries for salad. These are really good. They're actually bigger than craisins and they're very uh, juicy. You know how craisins can get kind of dry. So those are just a restock for when we have salads. If you've watched any of my recent videos, you know I'm really into collagen peptides. I just joined the bandwagon literally like two months ago. So I put this in my coffee every morning. So does Matt. Matt actually brings them to work. And... This one actually gives you the amino acid profile. I'm gonna not even pretend to be smart and know what that means, but I am looking for, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Protein, 10 grams of protein per scoop. So every coffee has 10 grams of protein. So I got two bags of these. They have a really good price on them and they are pasteurized. It doesn't say if they're grass finished, but it's a really good deal. So does Costco has a really good deal on these too. And I always get these snacks for Matt. These are the Thrive brand little packets of olives. And this is the Zesty Italian and the original. I need to try with Paul to see if he likes olives again. I haven't done that in a while. But Matt brings those to work pretty much every week. So I get those every month. These are just restock items. Organic tomato sauce sliced tomatoes. Those go in the basement. I need to stop buying this now that I am recovering from being pregnant and postpartum. If it will focus... I need to stop buying this is what I need to do. I buy chopped garlic from them, but I can easily get garlic and chop it myself, especially now that I am four months postpartum and not pregnant anymore. I need to stop using this as an excuse. It's expensive and people say it doesn't taste as good. I don't really notice much of a difference, but this one is organic chopped garlic by Emperor's Kitchen is what I get. Okay, and then to round this out, this is a big old five pound thing of Flower Organic All Purpose by King Arthur. I love King Arthur. I usually get this at Costco, but Thrive has a good deal too, and I try to keep stock of this because I use a ton of flour in all the sourdough stuff that we do. I also got some einkorn flour. This is the all purpose. I have whole wheat flour as well. I like to do this in my sourdough to ferment, and if I have to add flour to anything that I've already fermented, I like to add the einkorn because it is better for digestion, in my opinion. I got some cinnamon to restock my cinnamon jar. So this is a new item I have not tried before. Red enchilada sauce in an envelope. We love enchiladas and I just get the, I think it's Old El Paso brand in a can is what I usually use. So I'm excited to try this. How cool is this? This is new from, from what I can tell. Primal Kitchen Mayo, we always got it in a jar. Actually, I think we have it in the fridge. Yep, pulled this right out of my fridge. So this is the one we've always gotten and it comes in a glass jar, avocado oil, it's delicious. It's not glass anymore, it's plastic, so take that for what it is. But now it's in a squeezable and the squeeze is on the bottom, so it kind of, you know, goes down. I thought this was really cool, so I jumped on getting this. The mayonnaise with avocado oil. This is not new, I get this every single order. Our house goes through ketchup, like it's going out of style, so ketchup restock. And this looked delicious for the summer, Hawaiian barbecue sauce. I am totally gonna marinate chicken in this, I know it. It looks delicious and I could not wait for this to come. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you like videos like this, make sure you get a thumbs up so I know. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.